To measure shoulder flexion, the patient is positioned in sitting or standing with the therapist stood to the side of the patient. The axis of the goniometer is placed over the lateral aspect of the humeral head with the stationary arm parallel to the midline of the trunk and the movable arm parallel to the humerus pointing to the lateral epicondyle. Ask the patient to raise their arm forwards, keeping their arm straight. To measure shoulder extension, the patient can be positioned in prone lying or standing with the therapist stood to the side of the patient. The axis of the goniometer is placed over the lateral aspect of the humeral head with the stationary arm parallel to the midline of the trunk and the movable arm parallel to the humerus pointing to the lateral epicondyle. Ask the patient to take their arm behind them as far as they can, keeping their arm straight and ensure they avoid any trunk rotation or scapular tilting. To measure shoulder abduction, the patient is positioned in supine or standing with the therapist stood to the side of the patient. The axis of the goniometer is placed approximately one and a half centimeters inferior and lateral to the coracoid process with the stationary arm parallel to the sternum and the movable arm parallel to the humerus pointing to the lateral epicondyle. Ask the patient to take their arm outwards away from their body and to lead with their thumb and ensure they avoid any trunk side flexion or scapular elevation. To measure shoulder external rotation, the patient is positioned in supine lying with the shoulder abducted and the elbow flexed to 90 degrees with the forearm pronated. The axis of the goniometer is placed on the olecranon process of the ulna with the stationary arm perpendicular to the floor and the movable arm parallel to the ulna. Ask the patient to move their hand backwards and ensure they avoid scapular elevation or depression and shoulder adduction. To measure shoulder internal rotation, the patient is positioned in supine lying with the shoulder abducted and the elbow flexed to 90 degrees with the forearm pronated. The axis of the goniometer is placed on the olecranon process of the ulna with the stationary arm perpendicular to the floor and the movable arm parallel to the ulna pointing to the styloid process. Ask the patient to move their palm downwards and ensure they avoid scapular elevation or shoulder abduction.